What's up guys, Twig46 here, and today I'm going to be playing this game, uh, it's called Gasp, found it on Steam for free, um, I guess the premise is you're on another planet, but it looks like the moon, um, you got a leak in your oxygen tank, and you're miles away from anyone else, and you gotta try to link up with them, that's all I know about it, um, I just give it a go, I guess, I mean it looked pretty, ooh, cool. Uh, grab the download content. Okay, I guess I'm not playing on Mars, because, you know, I'm notoriously cheap, as you know. Um, free to play and all that good stuff. So I'm going to start on the moon. Warning, this game is not designed to hold your hand. Once you die, then you die. Hello? Respond. Are you okay? Hello? Respond. I can't respond. I don't Look, know how. It seems communications are down on your end. But we can see you are receiving us just fine. Okay. I guess for now I'll guide you to the other team members. It seems your capsule crash landed miles from the LZ. You need to meet up with the others before your O2 runs low. Your HUD should be live what? and tracking the GPS signal on the other members. Hmm. This Jump. is weird. It seems to be showing five unknown signals. There must be a glitch in your visor. We're unsure which is the right signal. You're gonna have to choose one and hope for the best. Your O2 tank wasn't built for long surface trips, so you only get one chance to choose. Because I don't think the oxygen will hold out long, so you better hurry. Good luck, sir. We're all praying for you. And that was pretty much what I saw when I first looked at this game on Steam is that was it so I guess I'm trying to get over here which one should I go to I only get one shot <laughs> uh, jump oh man okay so how do I go faster or is there a faster what the what the what I think I'm gonna go to this, the closest one. All these like, these rocks are like heat-seeking missiles. <laughs> I'm not, I'm no uh, space expert by any means. I just, whoa. <laughs> um, oh, um, yeah, no, no space expert by any means. But it seems like there's a lot more debris out here, and they're very. Uh, heat, yep, let's see, heat seeking death rocks. I just get hit from behind. I think what it is is a game mechanic, like there's no way that, I was like, it seems like every time I get hit, I lose some oxygen, so I think, I think you, that's what it is. Oh, look, another heat seeking missile. And I lost some oxygen. I am your father. <laughs> oh, I had to do that. I'm sorry. See, you know the, you know, I don't even know if the physics are right because that looks like it should bounce a lot higher than it did. But you know, who, who am I to say? I'm just playing the game. <clears throat> Speaking of games, since we're just, you know, uh, meandering through space, um, why don't we take some minutes to talk about the channel and where I'd like to go with it. Um, obviously, I'm pretty cheap. Uh, I don't make a lot of money, and I can't afford a lot of... Oh, that has a lot of meteors or asteroids or whatever they are. Yeah, so I don't... Um, I can't afford a lot of games, so I'm basically like a free-to-play kind of guy. Um, World of Tanks, War Thunder, World of Warships, Armored Warfare, that sort of thing. I like them because they're strategy games, and, you know, it's, it's kind of like chess. It's kind of enter entertaining for me. Um, but, yeah, okay. So, um, <clears throat> what I'd like to do, um, as you may have noticed, I monotonized my account, and I don't want to spam you guys with ads but my plan was is to uh kind of like use that ad money as a way to um, make additional money to pay for games that i wouldn't otherwise get to play 
And right now, I got a grand total of three cents that I made, so I am literally rolling in the dough. <laughs> Not a lot, mind. Probably... Yeah, no, I was gonna say something stupid, but... You know, ooh, jumps. Um... But, uh, yeah, that's that was basically my kind of plan for the channel. I don't know if you guys are uh, a-okay with that, but hey, based because of Steam and their free-to-play games that I just take a look at occasionally, um, just to see if there's anything that I might be interested in playing, um, came across this, I got a racing game I'll take a look at, and yeah, there's another scary game that I picked up. I won't spoil it yet because I kind of want that to be a surprise. And I probably won't get around to playing it for a while because I want it to be like I can say whatever I want. And, you know, my parents are home, so um, unfortunately that's not something that's going to be an option at the moment. I mean, I got to, like, play when they're gone. So anyway... <clears throat> Um, so maybe there's there's the add money option, there's the um, there's the you guys support me on Patreon or however whatever, and you know donate money to for me to play better or different games. Um, there's the online streaming option. And yeah, that's pretty much the only things I see about how I can actually make money with by playing games. <clears throat> um, you know, some some of the games I do, or well, I would hate it, um, is a scary game. Like you know, when October comes around and there's a whole bunch of scary scary games. Um, I would I hate scary games. I would scream like a little girl. But maybe you guys would like to see that. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. I mean, I did get a scary game. This, well, that's so weird. Space is weird. Like, it, it blocks out the sun. Alright, looks like I'm closing in on this. But anyway, yeah, um, I'll give that scary game a go and see how I do with it. If I'm, like, such a baby or whatever. You know, I don't know. Hey, you know what? There's all these rocks around here. And how come none of them have hit that thing yet? Or that thing yet? I mean, jeez, look at all these rocks. Okay, I only got like 200 meters to go. <sighs> Just keep breathing. <laughs> Whew, almost got hit by another one. Warning. You're gonna die. I don't think this. I don't think this is the right signal. I definitely don't think we're gonna find anything here. Oh wait, there is something here. Hello. I wonder what it could be. Just click on it. Uh, the controls aren't all that intuitive. Options, system, settings. Hmm. Oh well. I guess we keep going. This is not something that I can, that I know how to pick up. Wait, hang on. Um, I walked all this way. Nope, space, inner, click, 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 click. Nope, nothing happening. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see, that one's 2,000 meters away, 3,000. Oh, 1,000. Okay, we're gonna go. Oh, wait, we're in a kind of a crater over here. I hope we can get back up. Or I could get run over by this rock, which has an interesting shape to it. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> oh, I 
I see. So I'm looking at the bottom left corner. It's the Weisler GPS. Apparently that tells me where all the rocks are. So I don't have to look at the sky all the time and wonder. I wish I had jetpacks or something. Or mono propellant or whatever it is. Oh man, I'm so gonna die. If I have to walk all the way back over there. Uh... <clears throat> I don't know. So far, uh, I mean, it looks pretty. Like the dust kicking up, the textures look really good. I don't know if the constellations are 100% accurate, but whatever. Okay, good. I can actually climb this. Or I could just get kicked off. You know, that's an option. Come on, you can do it, spaceman. You can do it. Okay, so crap. <laughs> you know what's uh, the thing I noticed? It's kind of taking me out of it a little bit. Is that the rocks hit, but they don't leave craters. They don't kick up their own dust. So while the moon itself looks really good in and of itself, it's just the objects don't have very good interactivity with the moon. Something I'd like to see a little bit more of. Oh, man, I keep getting hit by these rocks from behind and I have no idea how to dodge those. Well, so far I've traveled a grand total of 2,075 meters away from the crash site. Excellent. Only about a thousand meters more to go, which is a kilometer. I remember that much from uh, math and stuff. <laughs> Obviously I'm not that good at math. If I was, I'd be playing more games or like, you know, Kerbal Space Program or something. But I don't know, I just, I don't think that's my kind of game. It's too silly. <laughs> Can't help but think that this game is a little bit silly myself. I, this is, I'm just walking. I don't get to shoot anything. I don't get to collect samples. Just me, walking on the moon. I mean, it's pretty. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but shouldn't that space station be like orbiting? And it should be moving around the moon, not just staying in the same spot. So that's two things that I've seen that I would really like to see better done in this game. Oh, it's kind of cool, like the dust, and it's like, I think if you get above it, you can see a clearer picture of the space station, but why would you want to do that? Because then you'd have to actually render it and, you know, pay attention to details. So that's kind of a cool way to get away with not doing some things, and I don't mind that. I come from the generation of Nintendo 64 and playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater for, like, you know, eight hours straight and not complaining about the graphics whatsoever. It's a meteor. And I got hit. Oh, you know what that is? It's probably me running out of oxygen. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, why can't I go forward? I've been doing so well. Did I hit a, did I hit a wall? It literally won't let me go forward. 
So I guess if I don't if I don't pay the downloadable content, then I don't get to win. <sighs> okay. Yep. I'm going this way now. See, like, where's the dust from the rocks? Like, boom. There's no hole. There's no dust. It just hits the moon. Yeah, it's like light, dark, light, dark. Very different from Earth. Oh, it looks like we have an ancient creek bed over here. You can tell from the way the stones are marbled. Ooh, look at this ancient creek bed. Ooh, got some air that time. Oop, oop, alien bone. Found a bone. Gotta keep moving though. Almost half out of oxygen. Try not to breathe, good sir. <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing because space balls. Oh, space balls. I think I saw that same thing not too long ago. That same that same stick. I'm gonna watch the ground and see if I can see that. See. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make this interesting for myself, but I just can't. Um, hey, there's that same stick again. All right, let's look for the next one. I mean, there's just like, there's just, there's nothing to this game. At least not yet. There's a stick. Hunting for space sticks. Where did it all go so horribly wrong? Well, I tell you, I woke up and I logged onto Steam and I typed in free to play. That's where it went wrong. Hey, look, there's that stick again. There's two of them. Hey, they're there. Whoa, found them closer together this time. Mm. Ooh, dude, look at that. Look at that rock. It looks like a fish head. Fishy fish, space fish. Oh, wait, who turned out the sun? Ooh, look at that rock over there. Doesn't it look like some kind of, uh... See it? Looks like some kind of head. Living... Well, <laughs> quote-unquote living. Proof that... Uh... There's life on the moon? And, of course, see, there, there you go. I don't live by myself, so... You're gonna have to deal with someone taking a shower in the background, because I... I, was, I wanted to play this game later when I'd had some free time, but you know what? You know what? I just want I just wanted to play it, get over with it. Felt like if this one felt like the worst of the three that I got today. So I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna play this now. While the family's distracted. Mom's in the other room crafting, dad's downstairs watching sports. Should be relatively fine. Apparently not. Oh, on my space stick. I stopped looking for a little bit. Let's look at the Earth. How come the Earth isn't spinning? How come we're not spinning around the Earth? So, it's a lovely map painting. Space stick! Oh, I just gotta get the signal. If nothing happens here, I'm probably just going to give up because I already determined that the game doesn't want me to go to the other signals, so why, oops, space stick, why keep, uh, you know, playing a game that's not, in my opinion, that interesting. I mean, maybe this is great for some people, but I mean, I don't know. See, this is, this is exactly the reason why I don't want to, um, pay actual money for games because this is how I feel games are. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks great. 
I love how this game looks, but the problem is, is that there's no content. And like, we can go, that's kind of my personal theory on how games happened, is like, okay, so you start out, you have no graphics, they're like a square, that's your character, you know, like Pong. You have a like a bar line and a square for your ball, and that's that's your graphics. But the simplicity and the in, the intensity and the interest of the game, it kept people playing it, even though it looked like crap. And then you know other games came along like Mario. Yeah, it still looked like you know there's no graphics, but yeah, it's improvement. You can do things that you couldn't do before. Anyway, um, so you see where I'm going, like. You, graphics and content they work together uh, my personal thing is like nowadays the games have so much graphics and they're so focused on just looking pretty and beautiful that they have no substance to them like this game um, personally golden era of games was like Xbox PS2 era somewhere in that range maybe like with a Nintendo 64 not so much the uh, was it the GameCube? I didn't really play that that much. But um, yeah, that was like th that was like the perfect combination of graphics and content. I mean, they they were just like it looked. It still didn't look great, but it looked real enough that you, if you used your imagination, you could just imagine it looking amazing. Like. Uh, was it Zelda and the Ocarina of Time? It looked like crap. It just, it did. But you know what? It looked amazing when you were playing it. I'm just looking at the thing. I got one kilometer to go. Don't know how I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm running out of things to talk about. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I don't think I've actually gotten hit by one of these things yet. <sighs> Yawn. Don't worry, guys. Only 900 more meters to go. Another thing that's distracting is the mouse cursor that's still on screen somehow for some reason. <gasps> okay, oh, we can see the see the target. Let's. T <gasps> oh my gosh! What did I find? I found an invisible wall. Looks like I'm not going down there. Well, okay. Anyway. Hey, that one looks like a head. Well, this game was complete. Uh, oh, wait. Wait a minute. <gasps> Can I get down there somehow? If I look at the ground really hard, well, I'm moving. I don't. I don't know what's going on. It's like everything was fun until I got to this crater. Now oh, the shadows seem a little bit wonky. That seems just a little bit too textured and kind of phoned in. Whatever. Oh wait. Let's see if I can get. Got a whisper, cause I might get, I might not make it. Oh, I got a serpentine down. <sighs> uh, ooh, look, a space twig. All right. Okay, moving on. I look like a smiley face. Oop, 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 oop. There's light. Where there's light, there's life. Space twig. Well, this game kind of sucks. I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> I'm not going to hold it back any. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it still sucks. Well, I got in a grand total of 20 meters closer to it. I just, I cannot get down this bloody thing. I think that's how they wanted it. I'm getting a little bit closer. Oh, come on. Come on, I got 2.5 kilometers away from the crash site. I probably walked a grand total of three kilometers, maybe four, since I started playing. And I'm already bored. 
So I'm glad I didn't pay any money for this. This is probably why this game was sweet. Oh, I got 50 kilometers, or kilometers, 50 meters closer. It's a rock. How do we have GPS positions of rocks? It's like, it's like this guy knows your frustration throughout playing this game, and he's just constantly reminding you of it every time he takes a breath. <sighs> well, you know, for the time it took for my computer to load it, um, I'd say it's pretty entertaining, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to play it again, obviously, this game pretty much sucks. Don't recommend it. I just got it because it seemed kind of interesting. You know, but hey, it's free for a reason. Uh, don't know if it's an alpha or beta or if this is the finished product and people just gave up on it. I don't know. But it seems like they put all of their development dollars into the first five minutes of the game. So I cannot get any closer to this thing. It's like it's. There's like a magnet in my suit, and it has a 700 meter radius, and it says, You shall not pass! Hmm. Maybe I needed to pick up that first thing that I got in order to progress, but I don't, I don't know. I tried all the buttons, there weren't that many. So, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what else to say. I kind of want to just see what happens when I die, but... Uh, so far, this is like, you know... Whoop, whoop. See, I thought that was trippy at first, and then I realized, hey, it's not. It's how space is. <sighs> that's, uh, oof, that's like two and a half yawns. Oh, oh god, 700... Two meters! Can I get to 700? God, this is just like trying to sit next to that girl on the bus. Like, she's just like, nope. 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 <laughs> oh, I got to 700 meters. Why is it flashing? I don't know. Um, hmm. Well... I'm just going to uh, cut back when I'm dead, and then I'll see if there's anything else that there is to do. Okay, so I quit that other game because I was bored and nothing was happening. Um, I looked at the controls, apparently there's no other controls, there's just zoom, moving around, and jumping. So I could not pick up the first thing even if I wanted to, so knowing that, uh, I think this game needs a lot more work. Does it have potential? Maybe. Um, would I recommend it now? No. I on like three times while playing this game. Nope. Anyway, <clears throat> um, hope you've enjoyed this little adventure with me. And <sighs> yeah, that should that should kill me. That should just not. That should I should be dead right now. Seriously. Anyway, um, I got two other games that I got. One's a racing game, and the other's a scary game. So I'll be doing those shortly. Alright guys, uh, this has been, uh, well, a trip. There's those homing meat, homing <laughs> rocks again. <laughs> Just, don't worry, lightning never strikes the same place twice. I'll just stand perfectly still. Nothing bad will happen to me. so far. Um, anyway, um, I think I'm just going to call this, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, someone better pick up the phone because I fucking called it. <clears throat> oh, is that another homing one? No, it's not. Anyway, um, well, there's that. It's just a little experiment into the weird, into the unusual, but hey, I might get some inspiration for some funny junk from this, so at least there's that. Alright guys, uh, peace out. I'm gonna go check out some of the other games.